What's up, YouTube? Farmer Son Prepping here. I just got in from church. And I'm hungry. We had a very good service today. We had a father and his two children get baptized today, a boy and a girl. Uh, great service today. Oh, man, we got a praise on. It was good. So, God is good. It's a good day. So, today, uh, the other day, let me, let me do this first. The other day, uh, was moving around some of my stock, and I found an expired, or a supposedly expired can of food. The date on this bad boy is September 21st, 2021. I don't know if y'all can uh, see that. Try to hold it still. Uh, anyway, but it is uh, mini raviolis. So 2021, it's almost two years old. Or no, one year old. It's a year out. Whatever. If you consider it out. So, you will notice by the thumbnail I have entitled this Survival Situations. Here's our situation. It's Worldwide SHTF. Crazy things have happened. Lots of people have died. You can get that, get that picture in your head. Now, I haven't eaten in five days. By over five days. I haven't eaten in over five days. I am hungry. I'm starving. I'm rummaging through somebody's house and I come across this can of raviolis right here, which is a year out of date, basically. Okay. Decision time. Do I eat or do I starve? You have to think about it. In a survival situation, you have to adapt. Uh, what was it the Marines say? Improvise, adapt, and overcome. You have to be able to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Uh, so there are a few tests you can do. A couple of little uh, go-no-go -no -go tests we can do on this can right here. The first test is, this may be a long video, y'all. Inspect the can. For rust, for dents, uh, make sure it is completely sealed. I see no rust. We do have one dent right here. I don't know if y'all can tell. That is dented right there. And it's dented because I dropped it yesterday. It wasn't in the back shelf or anything like that. It was up front. But uh, I went to grab it, and instead of grabbing it, I knocked it off the so this dent got put on here yesterday. Keep that in mind. But in a survival scenario or situation, well, it's dented. That's one that's one fail. Okay. Alright. Well, I don't even need a can opener. I brought one because it's got the uh the tab on it. The next test, we're going to open this can, get that off of there, I'm going to lay this on this napkin over here with my fork on it. Next test, we give it the eyeball test. It's not green, it's not black, now we give it the nose test. Doesn't smell bad. All right. Let's let's do the match the label test. Mini ravioli. <laughs> Smells like mini ravioli. Trust me, if this was bad, your nose would have noted the second that lid come off. All right. These are what you're going to have to go through to find food to eat in a survival situation. All right. So, we have a supposedly expired food here. We have a dent in the can, which is a red flag, by the way. Uh, no rust on the can. 
the food visually looks and smells like what it's supposed to look and smell like, the match test. Uh, so, decision time. Do we starve or do we eat? I'm going to go eat. All right, I have a bowl right here. Boom, boom, prepared. Look at there. All right. Try to hold it up where y'all can see. I'm going to pour this into the bowl. Get my little mini rav out here. I may have to set it down and break the rest out with a fork. I apologize. Y'all can't see that. One more. There's always one mini rav in there hiding, y'all. He don't, he's shy, he don't want to come out. All right, can is now empty. Pretty visually appealing. Smells good. All right, I've got me a sweetened up sweet tea here. Now, this is a survival, this is a SHTF. We don't have any way to heat this up. So, we're going to go cold. Alright? That's the good thing about having canned food, meals in a can. A lot of these, you don't have to heat them up. Alright? So, I got my fork right here. I'm going to hold it up here so y'all can see. We're choosing to eat rather than to starve in an SHTF situation. It's, I'm starving. It's been five days. A year out of date. Pretty good. And I am hungry, by the way. After church, I'm always hungry. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all. Of course, I'd get it on my chin on video. <laughs> Nothing wrong with this. Nothing at all. I'm going to finish eating this here in just a second. Let me wipe this soft off my chin. Okay, I've had several bites. It's good, there's nothing wrong with it. Now, it may not have all the nutrients that it was supposed to have, but it's good food, it's good, it's edible. Why not eat it? Who would rather starve than eat, you know, in a survival scenario? That's the question you're going. You might be faced with one day. And now, because this is YouTube, oh, uh, I have to make a little statement here. I'm not telling anybody to eat out of date or expired food. This, the context of this, is a survival situation. Okay, you're starving to death. There's a choice to be made. And, you know, we all have to make our own choices here. Uh, it's something to think about. I want y'all to be thinking about it. Uh, if you have some expired food or supposedly expired, uh, again, uh, I use the industry's term, you know, or uh, best buy, be honest, best buy date. People give it away, whatever. You can feed it to your dogs. That's true, too. Nothing wrong with this at all. A year out or a year past its best by date. Not a thing wrong with this right here. So, this is your video. God bless you all. I hope you're all doing well. Hope you all had a blessed Lord's Day. I know I certainly did. 
seeing a father and his two children get baptized. I'm going to quote Phil Robertson. There's still hope for America. Maybe not a whole lot, but there's still hope, y'all. This is Farmer Son Printing. I'm going to eat. Y'all can leave. <laughs> See you next time. Be kind to somebody today.